Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we're going to see the problem, the number of beautiful subsets. Just a quick thing. If you, after watching the video, if you guys like it, then please do it like button because to make this thing, it took a lot of time. So yeah, let's start with the video. Uh, like you are given an array nums. Okay, cool. Of positive integers. Okay. And a positive integer K. And a subset of nums is beautiful if it does not contain two integers absolute difference equal to k. Which means that if I make a subset, subset is just you choose some elements out of some array of n elements. And if you make that subset, any two numbers absolute difference, which means that x minus y or y minus x should not be equal to k. Okay, if it is, then it's not a beautiful subset we need to return the number of non-empty beautiful subsets firstly non-empty and because see i'm just marking this non-empty i'm just specifically specifying non-empty because later on i will just say okay we need to remove non-empty so yeah uh, and also it should be a beautiful of the array nums cool and it's saying it's just saying okay what is a subset so firstly as it is a subset so is in a subset we choose some of the elements out of any elements so if we choose some so it means that order is not important so first thing okay order of elements won't be important for us cool in this example of nums we have two four six how many subsets we can make see firstly to make a subset we can choose an element and not cho choose an element. So if I want to see, okay, 2, 4, 6, how many number of possible subsets are there? They are 2 raised to power 3, which means choose 2 or not to choose 2. 4, we need to choose 4 or not choose 4. Options are 2. We need to choose 6, not choose 6. So 2 into 2 into 2. Thus, number of possible subsets are 8. But number of beautiful subsets are what? Firstly, we can't take empty one because we want non-empty. So I just remove non-empty. Another one, it can be two because it's just one element and it's also not having other elements such that its difference is k, which is two. Okay, cool. I'm good. I can have four. It's also one element. I can have six. It's, it's also one element. I can have two, six. I can't have a two, four. Why? Because four minus two is two, which is actually equal to k. So it can't be possible. I can't have a four. 6 because also 6 minus 4 is 2 it's also not possible and so on and so forth every anywhere where a 2 4 or a 4 6 comes together it's not possible so the answer would be nothing but 4 now when we look when we have a c in this question i will show you every approach it has three approaches i'll show everyone uh, in this firstly the first thing which comes in our mind is okay the constraints number of length is very less which means that the area of it's of very less length so firstly maybe i can try brute force because see to make these subsets i will require how much time push power n time and uh, if n is 20 so it will be nothing but 1 is 6 so now just my only thing would remain is that okay i just need to check if that particular subset which i made is it good or not which means that okay a subset is made and how many such subsets can be there 1 is 6 around 1 is 6 which is nothing but 2 raised to power n so, subset can be there and for each subset i need to check okay if it is beautiful or not and how to check beautiful that okay if the element i it should not like the element j let's say if i choose an element i so i'll check for all the j's after like i plus 1, i plus 2, i plus 3, let's name it as j. I'll check for every j, okay. If j minus i, if it is equal to k, if it is, then it's not a like beautiful subset. And if it is not, then I'll just check for i plus 2 with the rest of the remaining front elements. Then for next, so it will be just O of n squared to check. For one subset, is it good or not? Ultimately, it will be O of n squared into 2 raised power n, which can work. But... We can also think of better thing that rather than making a subset and saying if it is good or not, if it is beautiful or not, how about only make a good subset? Why not? Why not, right? So here we will only generate beautiful subsets. Thus, the part where we need to check, okay, if that subset is beautiful or not, that is just removed. So it is just 2 to the power n. But how to actually generate only beautiful subsets? 
So firstly, when we are about to generate a subset, I have two options. See, let's say if I have made half a subset, now I'm landing at an index, let's say I. I want to put in my existing subset or not. So basically, if I am at an at an index, see, as I showed you guys, to make a subset, you have two options, choose it or not choose it, which means to take it or not to, or to not take it. Here also, to generate that beautiful subset, I will have two options. Firstly, to generate a subset itself, I have two options, to take it or to not take it. To generate a beautiful subset, we have one other additional option, additional condition that is it possible to even take it? If it is yes, then I will take it. If it is no, then I will not take it. So in the existing subset condition which we had, we just add a small condition. What's that small condition? Is it even possible to take it? If it is yes, then I'll just take it. For example, if I had this nums array, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 10, and if my k is 3, let's say at any mid condition, which means at any point of time, I was able to get 1 and 4. Cool. Now I'm standing at 5. I have two options in mind. Can I take it? I have two options in mind. Either I can take it or either I can not take it. If I take it, I have to ask myself, is it even possible to take it? Which means if I take 5, then it should not be colliding with some of the elements inside. So it should, and as you can see, if existing was 1 and 4, if I am adding 5, so 5 minus 4 is 1, okay, it's good. 5 minus 1 is 4, it's also good. It's not equal to my k, which I had. I'm good. So I can take it. So I had an option to take it, but then again, I had to check if it is possible to take it or not. And it says yes, then I can take it. And not, like not take it, so just re like ignore it and just move on to the next index. Another thing is, let's say if I had 1, 2, 4, then again, if I'm standing at 5, I had two options to take it or to not take it. If I take it, firstly, I have to ask, is it even possible to take it? It will say no. Why it will say no? Because it has 1, 2, 4. If I take 5, then 5 minus 2 will become equal to 3. And that is my k. And it means that although I want to take it, but I can't take it. So I'll just again move on to 7. I did not take it. And in not, like, and in not, not take it, it's just same as, okay, I just move and not take it. So it is just that in a normal subset condition, which is added one more condition to, if we want to take it, then we should be possible to take it. And how to actually know if it is possible to have it or not? It is very simple. I'll just check. Okay. See, what I want is that some element difference. If I'm standing at, let's say, A of I, then minus some element, it should not be equal to K. Or I can easily say that A of I minus K should not be equal to that element. So I'll just check, okay, what is A of minus A of I minus K? For example, in this case, I would have checked, okay, what is my 5 minus 3, which is 2. So is my 2 present in my previous part of my subset? And to just see the occurrence, okay, if it is present or not, we can just use a hash map or an unordered map and to check, okay, if my two is present or not, if it is present, then, then my map, map will be marked as one. And if it is not present, then it will be marked as zero. So I'll just standing at five, I'll just check five minus three, it is two. So I just only need to take care, okay, if two is present or not, if it is not, I'm super good. If it is, then I can't take it, I have to move forward. Same as in the code. Firstly, I just have this unordered map, which will actually store the occurrence. Okay, if it has occurred or not, if it has not, then I am good. If it is, then I have to check, okay, if I can take it or not. Then I'll just call this function, which will actually result in the whole answer. Ultimately, I'll, I'll return answer minus one. I'm saying why I'm returning minus one. I'll just show by proper example that why it is the case that, that, that I do a minus one. But for now, you can just understand, okay, as in the question we have said, it should be non-empty. So while making that particular thing, one subset will become empty. I'll show in the next part that how one will be empty. Firstly, let's see this part, which is simple recursion. If I have reached the end, which means, okay, one subset has been made. If I am just iterating, 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 I have reached the end, okay. One subset has been made. I can just return a one. Now, condition. I'll just put my 
it can add zero or you can just have it and then like nothing as well because it will just get overridden but to take it or not i have to check is my that element minus k or plus k if it has not occurred for us if we want to check only one condition then we can just sort it if we want if we if we are not having to like if we don't want to sort it then we just have to check both the condition which means 5 minus 3 which is 2 should not be present and 5 plus 3 which is 8 should also not be present so i'll just check okay if it is not present which means that okay my like colliding example or co like if i had this 5 then if my 2 is not present then i'm just good i'll just mark okay now my 5 is present because for future for another person five should be asking okay like he would be asking if five is present or not so i'll just mark okay five is present and then i'll just move on to the next index and as i also had one option to not take it so i'll just again mark it as minus one which means that okay earlier i marked it as i took it but now i am going to not take it so i'll just come here out of this loop and here it will just not take it and for this i have just marked here okay not taken and then here it will just not take it and again both this one is i have because see, we have two options to take it or not take it i'll just plus both of them and i'll just return them it will be just number of ways to make the subset it was the way one but you notice one thing one very crucial thing that my five was being hampered by 2. My 4 was being hampered by 1. Why? Because 4 minus k is 1. 5 minus k, 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 3 is 4. 10 minus 3 is 7. So basically, specific elements are hampering, are being hampered by specific elements. And it's for sure that, sorry, and it's for sure that my number 7 will never be hampered by a 5. Right. It will just be hampered by a 4 or maybe something more than that. But it will never be hampered by a 5. You know why? Because one thing if you see that 4 minus k is 1. Or I can just say 4 minus 1 is k. Which means that if we have this modulo. So elements having the same modulo with k will affect each other. So we can just induce one thing from this that okay elements having the same modulo with k are affecting each other and not like my 7 will never affect my 5 for sure. It is possible that my 7 can affect 4 but as you can easily see that okay my 7 my 4 is affecting 1 but my 7 is not affecting 1 although they have the same modulo. So I'm just saying that elements having the same modulo can affect each other not sure can affect each other but the element having different modulo with k will never affect each other because for sure their difference will never be a multiple of k so i can just say okay one thing i'll just mark okay what all elements have the same modulo with k so firstly i will just get the modulo of k here one mod three is one uh, two mod three is two four mod three is one five mod three is two 7 mod 3 is 1 and similarly here it goes. So the blue ones will affect each other. It can affect each other and the white ones it can affect each other. But the blue ones will never affect the white ones. Cool. So by this I can make a two, two groups. Blue group, white group. I can have multiple groups. In this example I am taking just two groups for simplicity of your problem. Cool. Which means that okay only the group 1 will affect each other the group 2 will affect each other. So if by any chance I can get to know what all number of subsets can be made out of group 1, what all subset can be made out of group 2, then is it possible to reach to answer which means that in total number of subsets. Yes it is. We can just multiply it which means that the number of subsets which we can make from group 1, number of subsets which we can make from group 2, we can just multiply them and it will come out to be total number of subsets possible which are beautiful subsets see how if we had group 1 
smaller one let's say one four element element are one and four group two has element one only element which is two group one can have subsets in total as three short two which is four it can have two subsets but the beautiful subsets in group one it can be empty one one four and also one four but one four is not beautiful because four minus one is three it's not beautiful so in total number of beautiful subsets in group one is three number of beautiful subsets in group two is two so if i just multiply them i'll get six subsets which is empty into empty which is empty empty into two which is two uh, one into empty is one one into two is two one two uh, four into empty is four four into two is four two which is six subsets but in the example initially i told you that it can't have an empty subset thus i'll just return whatsoever after multiplication i have minus one remember what we did minus one is the reason because one subset will come empty because because if we had taken empty it's for sure that one will come empty but we have to subtract minus one because we don't want empty so for now you just have reached a conclusion okay by anyhow aryan will get me know okay what is the number of beautiful subsets in group one he will let me know in group two and in other groups if there are because see groups are made based on the modulo and modulo they have the same modulo and also they have the same modulo so it is just that okay the modulos are same so the groups can be any any number of groups so aryan just let me know okay if i have the beautiful number of subsets in one group and i have beautiful number of subsets in another group and another group and another group i just multiply all of them number of beautiful subsets and last in last i can just do a minus one and i can return the answer but now the problem occurs is that okay how will you find number of beautiful subsets in one group that's the biggest task right let's see first let's see how the beautiful subsets look like for this group one because you already know group one will affect each other let's see how they're affecting each other firstly we will have this empty one cool then for one i can just see when i'm when i am moving here i'll just make sure okay my ith index is included firstly i make sure my ith, ith index is included and also i'll just look at at my previous part right cool so my one and up till up till i have just got empty cool so my one is one is subset which is beautiful i just landed on a four how tall can be possible four i have it and four one i can take it but four one is not good so i just not take it four is the only one i can have it i if i'm landing at seven i can have seven i can have seven four also but it is not beautiful i can have seven one also it is beautiful i can have it if i am starting at 10 i can have a 10 7 4 1 a 10 7 a 10 4 a 10 1 a 10 uh, 4 1 and so on so basically in this a 10 would be good a 10 7 would never be good and whenever these two plus anything else come it will not be good for sure because here it comes two elements which are not good not beautiful so it's it's all it's also not good it's also not good it's also not good because 10 7 is for sure not good so it's not good if we choose a 10 4 that's good but a 4 1 would never be good because we knew it was not good and last a 10 1 that's also a good one so in total as you can easily see that we had one two oh sorry one two three and um yeah that is one two three one two three four five six seven so in total we have these seven subsets which are good and if we want this so ultimately because in the group ones we are actually putting empty ones also so in total we have to return eight with empty one because ultimately i just might do a minus one right cool now we know okay how it will look like but let's see what we have to do we have to do the same thing what we thought of earlier if we have an element because see i was just moving at these elements right from left to right and i was seeing okay what all left thing i have seen if it is possible to have it or not same thing i can if i'm standing at i8 index i have two options 
to have it to not have it if i want to have it then i have to check okay is it even possible to have it if yes then have it if not then don't have it let's see how it will go so in previously we have one empty one cool i'm standing at one so one is first thing so for sure i can have it cool because previous is nothing if it is nothing i can have it as minus infinity or something because it's nothing so pre so my minus infinity plus k is not equal to my element right so i can have it cool i can have it which means that if i can have it then it's my choice it's my choice it's her choice it's my choice that i can take it or, or not take it so if i not take it and if i take it if i take it which means okay i have this empty one and one also if i take a one i can take a one right and if i not take it which means okay my one is not taken so i can just choose from both of from both of them from both of the left ones which means my previously is taken or not my, if my whole previous is taken or not i can just have it wait a second let's see it step two it will be more clear because it's actual numbers numbers so right now so far if i not have one then i will have an empty subset if i have one then i have a one subset cool then at if i if my previous was one i'm standing at my four i have one thing in mind i can't take my four with the previous ones which means if i take four if i take four i can't take one so if i'm standing at four i have again two options to have it or, or to not have it if i not have four if i don't take four then ultimately i have two options both of them i can just grab elements from last thing which means if i am not having four so i'll just check okay last part what's the last possible last possible is that one was not taken and one was taken as i can take one because i'm not taking four here so i can take one okay it's good and if let's say one was not like not taken i can also have it so it's also good so ultimately in this when i when i don't take four i have an empty and a one cool what if now i take four it's for sure i cannot take one which means that if i take four it's for sure i cannot take one cannot take one cannot take one i have to only go at not take one so here it is empty and a four will come so empty into a four will be just added so it will become a four empty plus four and thus if i not take four then i have two options not take one take one if i take four then i have four short not to take one which is this one okay now we have this as empty and one and a four now if i'm standing at seven can i take a seven with a four if i take a seven i can't take four because seven minus k is four so if i take seven i cannot take four which means i cannot take four i have to go here only which means a seven and an empty will become a seven and a seven and a one will become a one seven so i have these two okay cool if i if i not take if i don't take four then i am good i can also not like not not take one and i also can take four because i'm not like not taking seven right here right cool so it will just be empty one and a four empty one and a four right cool see what we are doing is if it is possible to have it then i am just grabbing all the values from here see number of subsets i if i say number of subsets is exactly the same as what was here but number of subsets if i not take it will be just addition of both of these which means a two and a one which is three it is two you understand why because it's just being copied and in this it is just being added and if it would have been allowed which means okay if i can take a four also then also both of this will be added which means if if this if let's say it would have been eight if it would have been eight so i would be i would it it would have been possible to grab this four also so i would just have grabbed both of them so it would have become a two plus one equal to three but here as it was seven so it's not allowed so i'll just grab only not take one which is only two number of ways 
see last thing last step if i had this seven and i have this 10 i cannot take a 10 with a seven so when i'm grabbing here i'll just copy number of ways which is three ways but here ways are three ways ways are two in if i not take 10 then i have both the ways so it will be just three plus two which is five ways to take a 10 to to not take a 10 which means i just grab not take a seven and not take a or take a seven will be number of five ways and here number of ways are three so in total as you can easily see the number of ways are eight as we saw in the previous thing okay manually when we iterated on it and it is nothing but one empty one which we can check for later but 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 you will see one thing i just mentioned everything as unique right you will make sure that okay everything was unique but it's not required like nothing was said in the problem that it should be unique so what so is it possible or not yes it is possible if let's say we have multiple tens let's say two in this example so see if i not take a 10 values will remain same which means here it was three here it was two it will be just three plus two which is five but if i have a 10 then what will happen is you can see it was three now it became a nine how if i have to grab a 10 so it can have a two tens which means my 10 it can be like twos so number of subsets of this 10 will be 110 110 and a 10 10 both are unique both tens are unique so it's a first 10 it's a second 10 sorry it's a first 10 it's a second 10 it's a third 10 so number of if i have some of the elements as let's say two let's say the frequency of element is two in total from this if the element would have been one so i would i was only making one element which was 10 but if let's say the frequency is two so how many now i can make possible number of subsets it is you saw three which is nothing but i just remove one empty one so basically in total it can have four subsets where last one is empty so i just removed one and it will be nothing but a two rich power frequency of that number which is number of subsets possible of this 10 minus one by just removing that empty one and it will be just three thus you can easily see that okay i have three subsets of 10 three subsets of my mm, to not take as seven if i want to grab number of subsets in total which will mm, like nothing but multiplication of both of them it will be three into three which is nine that simple as that because you can easily see that okay if we have some x subsets as you saw earlier right i will show you guys again what we saw if we had uh, let me yeah so here we had three subsets here we had two in total the number of subsets was nothing but six same in that we did we just find out okay what all can possible and we just have it lastly code very easy exactly same thing what we did firstly we had this map which will grab mod to all the elements right in this example mod was one so element were one four seven ten ten etc here i just iterate on every of that mod which means i'll just grab that mod one mod two mod three and i'll just iterate on this vector firstly i need to sort that because ultimately i'm just seeing okay my current element which means my previous element plus k it should be equal to my element so i just not checking both the condition which means previous minus k and like i just only having one side condition because see if i need to say it's absolute so element minus prep and element plus prev also both should satisfy but if it is sorted then i can only check one which means element minus prev should be equal to k okay for this i so sorted it then my next map is just grabbing the frequency of that which means in this particular vector one half frequency one a four half frequency one a ten half frequency two so it's just grabbing this thing element frequency map two then i'll just iterate on my particular map two which has the element and the frequency i'll check what is the possible number of subsets which is nothing but a two inch per frequency minus one as i showed you guys if the frequency was two here of my 10 number of possible subsets were nothing but three same 
नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल सबसे कंडीशन वन वी कैन टेक वी कान टेक प्रीवियस बिकॉज प्रीवियस प्लस के इज इक्वल टू माई एलिमेंट सो आई कान टेक इट इफ आई कान टेक इट देन नॉट टेकन इज एक्सैक्टली सेम ओके यू कैन जस्ट टेक प्रीवियस ऑफ बोथ ऑफ देम इफ यू हैव टू टेक इट देन इट्स फॉर श्योर दैट यू कैन ओनली टेक वेन प्रीवियस इज नॉट टेकन एंड इट इज जस्ट मल्टीप्लीकेशन एज आई शोड इन द लास्ट स्टेप If I can take it, then it is exactly the same. If I if I now it is not taken, then I can just add both of not taken's previously, which means not taken and taken. If it is taken, but now I can also take the previous one because it is said. Okay, I can do the previous one, so I can also take the previous one. In this both of this, the only difference is I just added a previous taken also because now I can take a previous one. Ultimately, I just made it okay to take it to take it to take it to just like. put it back like my now is previous for the next step ultimately i just multiply for every group because i showed you that for every group i need to multiply them and when it is done i need to return a minus 1 for the answer right as i showed in the example itself it is the best solution on lead code you can reduce the space but for that you have to do many optimizations and all that stuff it's not important because on paper the space is minimum so space is o of n plus k because you are just using an array extra and also like the map is just storing what's the frequency for the mod and also the vector and the stuff so it's just n of n plus k the time complexity is c if we imagine the maximum number of let's say if we have this k partition which means mods are k at max the mods can be k which means 1 2 3 up till sorry 0 1 2 3 up till k minus 1 Mods are k. Let's say if I have in total n elements, so my n elements are equally distributed in these k partitions or k portions as n by k. So every portion has n by k elements. If I want to sort every portion, so it will be n by k into log of n by k. But here is a loop which will iterate for k times. So it will be n by k into log of n by k into k. So a k k cancels out, which will be n log n log n by k, and I also added a k because what if this k is pretty large? If this k is pretty large, which means I have let's say one 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 elements, which means my k is pretty large and my n, which means n by k is pretty small. So n by k into log of k it will be small. But actually, I just need to iterate on all of them. So I need to have a k, right? So I just added a k for that. So basically, when my n is large, which means in my one partition, which means in my one portion, in my one mod. If my number of elements are more, so it will be n log n. If my number of mods are more, which means I have more of mods, then the mod vector will be small, small, small. So it will be just o of k. So it will be nothing but o of n log n plus o of k. You can have anything. It will be maximum upon okay. What is the actual k if it is less or no? And yeah, it is the problem. it was a very beautiful problem and i showed the proper intuition for everything i tried my best best if you guys liked it then please do the like button it helps me motivate a lot and yeah see you guys in the next video goodbye take care